Justin and I were talking earlier about photos, and we kind of realized that we had talked in several episodes back over the course of several episodes. We seem to be coming back to this thing about your website, the photos, and photo management, all this kind of stuff. We've got, we're starting to, to put together some resources that are like specifically in the photography um, and um, website area and stuff. And you had a pretty neat idea that I hadn't even really thought of. I had a little bit, Justin, but share with them what you were telling me that not only we need to do at our churches, but everybody else needs to do. Yeah, so real simple pro tip, again, this one's not a tool, it's a tip, um, is to build your own stock library. Now you hear us talk a lot, you wanna use pictures of your church and your people, your assets on your social media, your website, your marketing materials, you want it to be your people. You don't want it to be a generic family that is on other church websites. You don't want it to be this guy who's on, and you know, obviously on Fiverr or whatever. You want it to be your people. Show your church, show your culture, show your activities, and and you want something to pull from. So instead of pulling from stock photos and you know free photo sites that everyone is using, um, instead start building your own library. Um, now what this does for you is you have a library, your own stock photo library, like First Baptist stock photos. And you can actually build your own library of children's photos, youth photos, group photos, senior photos, worship photos. And then anytime you need a you need a photo for a graphic or background or something, a marketing material, you just go in there and grab one of your photos. It's as simple as that. So instead of going to Unsplash or Pixabay or anywhere else you go to, um, you have your own library. Then what you can do also is host it on Google Photos. Yeah to our walkthrough on that and you can share that library out to anyone else that needs stuff so if, if you're working at the church but you have a volunteer running your social media you can both have access to that stock library and it's your people and let me tell you engagement goes through the roof when you use your own people yeah pretty baby you know obviously not at your church hey come to our easter egg hunt that's that's cute okay but if you put a picture of little taylor robinson you know, picking up an Easter egg in your backyard, that gets, I mean, first of all, it's like, oh, I know her, like, share, hey, look at me, you know, and then, hey, uh, you know, Facebook might know that that's so-and-so's daughter, so it feeds it to their family in the feed. I mean, there's just, just engagement when you use actual people in your church just goes through the roof. So pro tip, uh, build build your own stock photo library for your own church. And Dave, uh, you want to read off a couple of tips as far as getting those photos? Yeah, one of the things uh, that you need to realize is that you're going to have one photo that just really nails it. And and unless you're like a professional photographer, and we've got professional pro professional photographers um, as CTA insiders, and they will tell you that you're going to take a lot of photos before you get just that one. In fact, I remember you were talking, Justin, about um, you had this shot um, of, uh, of a gentleman in your church, and there's like three or four people, you know, some backs were to him, and he was talking, and you're running around with your with your DSLR, and you saw this little group of men talking, and so you just fired it off, and eventually his eyes were at the right place, his mouth was at the right place, the smirk on his face was at the right place, and a hand was like reaching out to pat him or something like that. Anyway, and it was that perfect shot. And so you have that shot and you get rid of the other 95 that it took to catch that one thing. It's kind of like shooting video and then just sort of working by it frame by frame until you find the right one. So don't don't think that you're gonna get the perfect shot every time. Don't just be like waiting and waiting and waiting. It's like you see someone start to go and hug, you just start firing it off and then you'll eventually get to the frame where the hug is the best and that one is the hug shot you know that sort of thing so definitely do that um and what uh you put one in here about don't worry about hitting everything at once that's that's really important don't um don't feel like you got to do it all today okay if you have someone who is going to be the photographer that's kind of roaming around for the next eight weeks he needs to be just focusing on the people out in the foyer coming in and saying hi and maybe during the shaking meeting and greeting time you know and the after church time not even any shots of the service you know what i'm saying 
needs to focus on one thing and just spend time doing that unless something dramatic happens and you need to catch it. But don't think you have one service. I've got 47 minutes that I need to get all 300 of these photos. You know what I'm saying? Don't don't stress over that. Yeah, it's you gotta you gotta maintain the long term. You know, so often as churches we try to get it all done at the last minute mm -hmm. in one week. I mean, this is a long term strategy. Imagine next year you have the whole library of all 10 of your ministries and worship photos that's next year so one time a month one time a quarter go out and just shoot um you know just take pictures of you know groups right and then the next month just take pictures of children's ministry just take pictures and then and then over time you build up this huge library so don't feel like you have to get it all at once because you'll be running back and forth and if you only get 10 pictures of every ministry guess what you only have probably one usable one so, right exactly you know take your time and this is a this is a long-term strategy um dave as a content upgrade dave i'm sorry i gotta hurt your feelings here um we had talked about as a as an upgrade uh for this pro tip that's going out we were going to do 50 photos yes. you need for your church stock yes. library mm -hmm. I, I'm committing to 77. Oh, you need well, to come up with 77 photos that 77. you need to take for, because I just really want to, we're all about blowing you out of the water here. So <laughs> seven. when this goes out, we're going to have a link down below. If you're watching on YouTube, click the link to go to our site and download it. Uh, click below if you're in the blog post. 77 pictures you need in your stock photo library. It's free to give you an idea of where to start when you're building your stock photo library. Yeah, 